Traditionally, our choice has been between a lumpectomy operation with whole breast radiation or a mastectomy. In the last few years, we have developed this alternative radiation treatment that involves partial breast radiation. And these balloons here really are a selection of the balloons that we've used in the last few years. And this is a brand new catheter that has recently been available to the physicians at Jupiter Medical Center, including myself. If you look at these two balloons, this is the mammocyte single lumen, and this is the mammocyte multi-lumen, which has four different lumens. These little tubes here lead down to the inside of the balloon, and this is where we put our radiation pellets to provide radiation inside the breast. This would be going into the breast, and this side would be external. So we place the balloon in the patient's breast in the office here, and we secure the balloon catheter, and then the patient goes over to the radiation oncologist in the Fauché Cancer Center. The patients are connected to an afterloader machine that basically connects to these small tubes. They connect this up to the machine, and the machine automatically brings this little radiation pellet that goes all the way down here to sit in the middle of the balloon for about 10 minutes total dose and then it comes back out again and it goes back in the other one and sits there and then comes back out again so they have four different lumens and this is all done in a very sophisticated computerized form where we know exactly where the radiation is going in terms of the breast and the chest wall and the skin so you can change the radiation dose to the skin and the tissues around the balloon. And what that means is that the tissue above the balloon, which is the skin, you can pull the radiation and decrease the radiation dose that the skin gets. And that you can also apply that to the chest wall, which will be on the deep side. So this balloon radiation treatment gives radiation to the side of the primary. It does not radiate the whole of the breast. And we think in certain patients that we select quite carefully, this provides a definite advantage in terms of not radiating tissue that doesn't need it. The selection criteria we use for the partial breast radiation or the mammocyte multilumen would be a woman who's over 45 years of age. And one of the other criteria we look for is a tumor that's uh, less than two to three centimeters in, in diameter. In older women with small cancers that we're diagnosing more commonly now because of diagnostic mammograms, we're finding that this is a treatment that is becoming quite popular. So with this new balloon, we can provide partial breast radiation to a larger group of women, including women with less breast tissue here. Whereas before, if we'd used this balloon, We'd put the balloon in and we'd do our calculations and we'd realize that we can't use it safely. Then we'd pull the balloon out and we'd give the woman whole breast radiation. Now that we have this newer balloon, those women that have less tissue above the balloon, instead of having whole breast radiation, maybe with the old balloon catheter, now they become candidates for partial breast irradiation. They can finish their radiation in five days instead of six to seven weeks.